Hello. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome everybody to Day Out of the Zombie Files, episode 30. The big 30, everybody. The big 30. My name is Lezu Shen. And today we're playing a little bit of AI of Zombie Files, guys. I'm so excited to get back in the hot seat. Probably been a hot second since this last episode went up. I do apologize, but uh, I'm ready to dive back in here on save file 8, Tuesday. E high or I high? I'm not exactly sure. At the base headquarters. It's good to see you guys. Welcome in. Last time we left off, let's see what the, the feedback says. We're on a road. Oh, that's right. We had jumped by boss last time, didn't we? And we destroyed her and we synced with her, but only to find out that inside of her right now is Saito Sejima. So Sejima's son, as well as. <laughs> the person that I'm currently inhabiting the body of and he wants my body back or he wants his body back from me who now whatever anyway we have two options here let's let's try to let's try to say don't do it what happens if we just let Hitomi die does does that like give us a bad end Doctor, I'm hurt don't you care about what happens to her no I don't really it's okay I won't do it do you understand the gravity of this situation? Are you, you, are you getting nervous? A bomb is strapped to her body. It's a bluff. I won't do it. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just too cold hearted. Oh, you know me. I, we're like two birds in one of a, of a feather. <laughs> two birds in one feather. You want to see what will happen? Yes, yeah, just like show it to me. Burns and tears and scatters. Yeah, you, you, you want to play hardball? We'll play hardball. That's something I can do. If you aren't quick, you'll see the whole thing. You know I'm not bluffing, don't you? Okay, let's see it then. Actually, I don't know you're not bluffing. I didn't agree, no matter how many times he demanded it of me. I refused again and again. <laughs> Wait, why did she disappear? That's not how bombs work. And then I saw it. I understood. Boss's body rolled uh, into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could taste blood. Bad. Okay, so, so it is a bad end. Okay. Uh, I figured this would be the bad end. I just wanted to see it and get it out of the way. Plus, I wanted to save. <laughs> I wanted to save as well. Would you like to save? Yes, I would like to save. Into, um, let's see, number nine. Do not save on number eight. Okay. Let us reload again. Just, I just wanted to see what the ending would look like. Begin investigation. Hold on. Is this way to reopen? Okay, reopen. No. Let's just reload from the previous save. And then just choose, um, just choose to say yes this time. Okay. Now, I just wanted to see what would happen, what, what, what the dialogue would say, because otherwise we'll never get to see the dialogue ever again, right? Unlike other methods, uh, some parts of the story, especially for bad ends, are not, like, you know, they're optional. So, if they're optional, I'd rather get it out of the way first. Here we go. We will say yes. Dante! See? I knew you wouldn't refuse. <laughs> you knew that I... I mean, I refused the first time, Saito. I know you well, don't I, Dante? You, <laughs> you know yourself well, don't you? You. You, Narukami. Please headquarters, Tuesday, 4, 29, 28 a.m. <laughs> Can't even read the number on the screen, huh? Holy moly. We synced? Is he back in his body? Okay, so now I'm boss again, right? So I'm... <laughs> okay, Mr. Weeze. I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back! Hey, where's Hitomi? All right, 
I'll tell you as promised. Oh, this is weird, huh? Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. Ah, uh, wow. What? Also, in this... <laughs> yeah, I figured. Why? What do you mean, why? It's a bomb strapped to his Return chest. Return my body and I'll tell you the location. Yeah, he didn't say he would stop the bombs. That's what I said. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! You're the one who injured that body. It's true. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. And he Be has eye, but now. Be seeing you. Oh. That's right, I Iba's still in his body. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Iba to the rescue. Zap Dante, the fuck out of him. Are you alright? Uh, I'm okay. Iba's voice barely resonated. My eyes it was hazy. A heap of broken images. Sweat was building my palms. I felt like my throat was closing up. I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, Hitomi, Boss. The flesh remains, the mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. I guess some lives are just Parallel in... worlds exist. It's true. <gasps> this is where I learned how to jump. The world suddenly echoed. The world suddenly echoed in my in my head. I couldn't remember who, or where, or why. But I thought that if it really was such a world, then me, in that world, I is another. Could I have had? Better future. I, like AI. Oh. I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into a black abyss. Okay. Does, wait, does that mean I jumped? Does that mean I'm going to another timeline? What is, what is happening? Wow. So that is the, that, that is the, like the green root, I, I, do I, do I dare say boss's end? Cause I mean, boss is already dead, but it's boss's body. That's like the, the key pivotal, you know, m part of this mission. Okay. Well, let's, uh, we've seen this credits a couple times. Let's skip it out for now. Annihilation. Okay, so it's it's like the, the rule where everyone is dead. So that is like the true like super bad end. <laughs> uh, usually annihilation is the, the the worst end. Yeah, let's save into slot eight because we'll be saving again anyway, right? Let's save into slot eight, which is the annihilation route. Nice. Well, we're collecting all these. Look at all these endings we collected, guys. That's amazing. So many endings. And we're gonna go back and boot up to where we left off. Which was the other route, just fine. It finally opened. This is it, guys. This could be it. Okay, begin investigation. Start investigation was day six, Wednesday. So sigh. Proceed, yes. I, I, I can feel it, guys. I can almost, I can almost taste it. Oh. Oh. That's crazy. Oh, it's not loading. Please. Oh, there we go. Nice. Who? Abandoned factory. Wednesday, twelve fifty-five a.m. This is the the dawn of the final day. It's literally day six, midnight morning. That's me, right? You're awake. 
And with this, so Renju goes, wait, if Renju goes into, no, not Renju, sorry. Uh, Saito goes into my body through Renju, then I become Renju. But if I switch back with myself and become Falco again, right? Because Falco is alive in this timeline. Damn it. I don't think you can release yourself. I don't think so either. We'll do something about it. What is it you expect me to do? I don't know, cut the ropes or something. Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me. I was gonna say. I cannot. Why not? My body has short-circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. At least you're still, like, awake, Aiba. <sighs> but fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. <laughs> uh, it's probably a pewter, like, cutting the connection from they us. They ignored you? There must be pressure from the higher-ups, likely a result of Congressman Sajima's interference. Oh, that's right, I forgot. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. Well, either that or it is, yeah. That is not the only reason. His son is Saito. So Sejima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting well, to... Actually, does he even know that I'm not Saito Sejima? Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. No, Aiba. Dude, I'd be so sad. But at least Aiba can be reincarnated, right? We can make Aiba again. She just, like, won't remember me. But I, I would love to keep her alive intact and also remembering me. I love Iba, dude. Iba's like my favorite character in this entire game. <laughs> oh, God. All right, me. I mean, you. You're Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. So he, he killed Rohan in this timeline. Renju's body on the ground. Yeah. Without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now, you used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. He died natural causes? Okay, uh, explain it to me then, Mr. Guy. But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sync machine to exchange minds? I came from another universe. I just, I literally just hopped out from the bad end. The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. But how? How do I know that? Why do I know that? And why do I know about Saito, the prototype machine? Changing personalities? The current. Did it unlock your memories? The current? Then tell me. This body was originally... Mine. Mine. <laughs> Ooh, we're back in the hot seat. Me and you, Date, for good, like, good old times sake. One last one for the road. That means your body... This is your body. Isn't it, Saito? Well, at least we get our body back. That's, that's nice of him. The words come out easily. I don't know why. But a moment of harsh realization I knew... 89's body is mine, and my body is Saito's. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. I don't know why he's so quiet. Give me a second here. Sorry, guys. Where are Hitomi and Iris? Don't worry, I haven't killed them. Yet. Yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. I know, I need some meds to be happy. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. Mmm, you know, thoughtful. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Okay, so... Such beautiful eyes. O okay, he's insane. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. Okay, this but is weird. What will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now. <laughs> if you shut, if you don't shut the fuck up, I will be mad. All right, talking it is. What should I say? Do you have any questions for? Any questions for you? None. I really. I don't really have any questions for you. I know everything already. It's early Wednesday morning. Shoko was killed last Friday. That day one, which makes today day six. For five days, what was Saito up to? I started to ask him what he did every day up until now. All right. Let's see, the operating table. Let's get an operating table. 
I guess it's not it's not really time for jokes, is it? Let's go. Day one, Friday. So it should decide to explain what he did on Friday. At 4 a.m., Saito began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to his abandoned factory and switched bodies with him. Okay, so now he's in Renju's body. After, after taking Renju's body, Saito killed Shoko and then brought the body to Bloom Park. But as he explained it to me, I felt somehow that I already knew. I don't understand why. I felt like it was being etched into my brain. Okay, day two. I was still in Renju's body. My next target was Iris. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical. So, I called her to Sunfish Pocket. Wait, but then she, es she escaped in this timeline, no? I even video called her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscape. Damn, fucking Iris grew some balls and said no to the president. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... But... Date, do you remember? Dude, I love... Dude, 89's voice is so nice. Saturday evening after sinking with Mizuki inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. It's true. The time was 4.52 p.m. Right before Renju called Iris. It, it wasn't even about the universe, like, changing timelines and stuff. I told her. Okay, I told her what? Don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. It was because of me. Iris didn't accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. If you did not warn her... Then she would be dead. She would have been taken here. I nice. decided to pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However, you got in an accident around 6:10 p.m. and lost consciousness. That's right, Renju got hit by a car or a truck. <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined, but my ultimate goal is still achievable. So it's all good. So it's all good. Why is Shoko's rental phone in the horse? Yeah, tell me about that. What are you slotted into his the oh, horse's head? Right. I put that there. When I was fixing Shoko's body on a horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. You gave her a phone? I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. Okay, no, no big so, deal. I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. Little did you know I had x-ray vision. Okay, easy the clap. The round horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. The crazy construction. I guess it would save on materials, right? And also, like, easy to make, so you just cast two sides and stick them together. Day three, Sunday, the action, or Saturday. My body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Oh, Sunday. It is Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. So you needed to swap. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented the car, and headed to Iris's house. I know what yeah. happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. Exactly. Push the intercom button. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. Okay. He said, come with me. But how did you... Oh, that's right, she you baited him twice. To come with you, but when you tried to bring her here... I'm trying I to bring got her scared. Here. I yeah. pulled my hand away and ran. Nice. And he oh, couldn't catch up. Know that too. He couldn't catch up because he was injured. But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled, and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't yeah. chase after her. Series of unlucky events, huh? I needed to <laughs> sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew, it was the next I'm day. surprised he's do he pushed through that, I won't lie to you. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. Okay, so Monday at four day four. This is two By days Monday, ago. Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. 
I'm a Noma. The man you call Pewter. Okay. I knew the story after that. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. So he's the one. Ah. Then Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? Exactly. Oh, then they sw How did he agree to the swap here? So Peter came up with a plan to help 89 escape. Rohan as 89 got into the car with Saito as Renju fell f fled from the police. Okay, why do you let 89 escape? When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. That's probably true. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies Dude, back. That's so cute, Saito. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi. And he's so thoughtful, he gave me his, my body back. In front of you, while you're in this body. Then he like, you know, he, he like kept it in good condition. I guess he couldn't operate if it was like an injured body anyway. A rather but, nice plan if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. That's why I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. Mm. I wanted this body at all costs. At all costs. What happens if you escape with 89 in the car? I brought Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Does he not remember about the machine? Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about, but I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. How, how did you trick- uh, he, I guess he, he just took some meds, As huh? a result- As a result. Happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. That's probably true. I believe you now. About the shooting on Monday. Just mercenaries I hired. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They okay. were expensive, but I had access to them. <laughs> they were expensive, but I'm the CEO of Lemniscate. I paid them with his money. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. You uh, you intended to only kidnap Iris with guns? But after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. But they had already been paid good money, so I decided to leave the arrangements as they were. And then, Pewter. And then Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. Oh. And he acted on his own without consulting me. Pewter did, huh? Day 5, Tuesday. I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m. I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. That's so cute, but also fuck you. <laughs> I told her where to meet, and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. The good old daddy-o, huh? I've been looking for him for six years. That's right. I mean, I was in jail, my bad. I mean, I guess Rohan was in jail. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. Go with the person I trust the most. So the person she trusts most is me. You, Date. <laughs> Number 89's current body was originally yours. After Iris got into the car, I put her to sleep. I forgot everything during the swap, damn. I restrained her and called Hitomi. Okay, and they told me, and you just be, I, have I, I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. Exactly. So, so that was an easy setup. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. Whole family's here. Thanks for being so cooperative. But you did drag your feet. <laughs> did I really? I was getting tired of waiting. My bad, I guess. The show full of medical supplies. About Monica's murder 18 years ago. I was only 12. But I remember it vividly. It's my first kill. 
Uh, on I, that day, yeah. 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I, I feel like, I, I feel like, you know, <clears throat> the killer's really, you know, one second. Killers gen gen generally tend to remember their first kills. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. Hmm. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. He's talking with Monica like 18 years ago. That's wild, dude. Imagine being 30 years old. <laughs> old people. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm, you know what? I may be 2,000, but at least I'm young and spry. Damn, nice backstab, dude. Okay, well, that, that's this is a little overkill, no? I guess, like, you, you know, when you're 12, you don't have emotional regulation. So you probably were just, like, really excited to k kill somebody, in, you know? Why did you kill Oil Drum? Bookshelf. Why did you kill Monica? I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. Hmm. It was the only way I could feel happiness. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's what always starts, no? That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me, and she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. I was mm. born with a brain disorder. Oh, we know. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland, and I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. It's always the mommy issues. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were complicated. Hmm. Sometimes I love the, the, they do the nod, like he's like, yeah. If I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Maybe the murder six years ago never would have happened. Hmm. Me, you, Rohan. Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. And maybe Shokonodami never would have gotten killed. Or Renju. Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. I, I guess so if you're like serial killer. Listen to the rest of his story. Sure, man. Sorry. I don't have anything else to say to you. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. I'm not that angry. I'm like so, a normal face. Shall we get started? Give me my body back. Okay. We're, we're gonna go along with it, right? I guess there's nothing for us to do, huh? Rest in peace, my other eye. What a strange fake eye. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't no. know. That Iba is right there. I guess many people don't know, huh? Can I put my eye back into the socket with Iba? All right. It's ready. Here we go. I can't believe he just took his own eye out. Or I guess my eye or your eye. Wait, is this Somnium? <laughs> wait, wait, is this is this Somnium? Am I playing another Somnium? I am! Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. I suppose it's not the last episode yet, huh, guys? This is the sink room. Uh, 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 okay. That was me. Oh, I was not here. Damn it, why can't I wake up? <laughs> okay, cool. This doesn't look like footage from a surveillance camera. Somnium scan, activate. That was a weird Somnium scan. Mental lock number one is the computer. Number two is the... whatever that is. 
the red item number three is the warehouse camera number four is is that a locker I can't tell what that is there, there, there are so many locks in here guys search Konami Dante Dante Konami abyss special agent verify identity what okay he punched the screen. Mental lock what? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, huh? Concealed. Okay. I'm not doing anything. Am I being synced? I'm being synced, guys. I can't move, actually. Okay, wait, th that means that I don't have to do anything, right? Because I'm not the one playing. Oh, I am doing things, okay. Uh, X? There's the monitor and the exit. Let's go, let's go to the monitor. I don't think the exit's gonna be the way out. Touch, hit, erase. T t t touch it? Zero seconds to touch it. I can't touch it. Okay, let's just... Oh, there's a knife here. Investigate the knife. That's new. Oh, what? The left Damn eye gun. It, what is this? What is happening, guys? Also, this is like a very precarious setup, no? The wires just hang out in the open like this? I think these are important wires to not be like maintained in that way. I suppose this was a prototype, right? Okay. But the exit is open now. Okay. It's time for us to go, I suppose. Go to the sink room, huh? Move. 60 seconds to move. I didn't have, I didn't get a time me. That's not fair. But that's one of my 6 minutes are gone. I guess I must touch the sink the machine. Sink machine. Investigate the sink machine. What is that thing? What did you just put on your face? Oh. The hell is that? What did you just... C percent concealed. Oh, just as concealed. Okay. What was he doing? Sink gear. Sink gear. Fix it. Pull off the sink gear? I can't touch it at all. I can't. Again. Okay, so we swap bodies. And then what happened? That's me as Rohan. And I'm walking away. Wait, I, I just walk away and leave? <laughs> okay. Where am I to, uh, to go? Oh, the, the door? Oh, time doesn't go down, I see. Door? What is this? This wasn't here before. Okay, let's uh, move. Uh, not that we have any other choice, guys. They'd be like, do you want to move? I'm like, I guess. Do I have any other option for you? No? Okay, then don't. This? Okay, we're here now, in the warehouse. This is kind of ominous. The other sink machine.
Okay, do I stab this screen too? Hitomi and Iris. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? Help me! Help me! Damn. Okay, that's lock number three. Concealed. Con 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 yield. Okay. I feel like we should save at some point, shouldn't we? Let, let, let's quickly uh, drop a save. It, it won't be the end of the episode, but we're just gonna drop the save really quickly. Just because I think, um... Yeah, you know, whatever. This might be bad. Pool of blood. Blood. Pick up the picture, investigate, scoop up... Let's, let's, uh, let's pick up the picture. Or try to. It's going down into the blood. It's gone. Oh, it's back. <laughs> it returned. It returned. It was just baiting us. Blood. Stick the hand in. Damn. Okay, it's not working. I got my eyeball back at least. Oh, <laughs> I, Rohan fought me as them. <laughs> oh wait, no. Oh wait, that, that was, that was... Okay, I see. <laughs> so you just gonna loop an animation in front of a mirror? Are you, you good, bro? Are you gonna be okay there, sir? Are you relishing in your own body again? Are you having fun? Mirror. You're... You're me. Hit him. Bam. Okay, that is the weakest Damn, punch you got to Okay, let's try again. Oh. Knock him down. Oh, I can't move him either. Nothing I can do to this mirror. I can't. I just can't do it. You having self-doubts now? Sure. Touch him, dude. I, I suppose I, I must touch him. But nothing happened. Sure. Investigate. I, I suppose we're doing them all. Okay, I put the eye in. Damn it. This is getting kind of crazy. Okay, that's cute. Couldn't see Ed. Just one more to go. That's it. Just a little more. This is a weird sink, guys. <laughs> Gotta be the weirdest sink to date. Mainly because I don't have to do anything. I just sit back and relax and, uh, you know. I guess Saito's doing the work, huh? <sighs> I'm sinking! Percent sink. I can only spend a minute to sink. I can't stop it. Are we good? I guess we're not good, huh? Also, why am I going down instead of the broom blood going up? Sink. What do I do? <laughs> not as much I can do. At least he's running. At least he's trying. Sink. Well, this is the last what one. What is this? I only have 60 seconds. I just used it to sink more. <sighs> Scripted event. You know, it's, it's one of those canon events you can't... You can't, uh, you know, stop. I can't interfere, can an event? <sighs> well, we swapped. You happy now? Oh, we didn't swap yet. That was... 
Wait, so is that me and him, or is that Rohan and him first? Honestly, like a scary ass machine. It probably is me. Ooh. Yeah, it makes sense now. It all makes sense. Oh my god, dude. Falco. <sighs> Let's go, dude. Date A acquired. Day six. I must have missed an eyeball somewhere. Or like, uh, yeah, one of the, the B whatevers. My secrets are gone, man. I... I can't fucking see anything. <sighs> Day 6, Wednesday. Hawkeye. Alright, your body's back. And so is mine. <laughs> I did it! I did it! But this time my body is mine. Oh, this feeling! I'm back. I got it all back! Yeah, and? There's two eyeballs there. Oh, one of them is mine. <laughs> this fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Oh. I think I'll keep it. But it's not a fake eye, is it? Can you not tell? I guess I would turned off the... The sight on it, right? Okay, oh shit. I guess the person being synced on gets, like, destroyed. This prototype machine has a special function. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. You will be feeling it soon. <sighs> oh, but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die and then you will follow in their footsteps. You should be honored. You think I'm gonna be honored? All right, all right, all right but do your thing. My vision's getting hazy. My consciousness is melting away. Clarity fading. I didn't know what happened. I can only watch as it unfolded in front of me. The scene that played before my eyes left me dumbfounded. Dumbfounded? Dead? That was a fragment of my, of, my, of my memory. Lost all those years ago. A piece of my past buried deep in my subconscious. Let's go, dude. Let's go! This is it, guys. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, this is the most complicated. I win! <laughs> the most complicated rock versus scissors game I've ever seen in my life. Now you have to take the penalty. The penalty? Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> Iris, remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? Dude. You know it's getting real when the main theme plays. How about a set? A set? A set, you bet. I thought of that name. This is when I taught Iris about her name. Greek and Egyptian mythology. <laughs> I'm a nerd. A set. It's pretty. I love it. You see that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris, just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess. 
And the goddess of rainbows, too! Oh, so she knows about it already. That's Never mind. right. That's why the iris means good news and hope. Good news. And hope. Don't forget about that part. Hey, Uncle. You met Mommy at this shrine, right? Exactly. Yeah, this is like the, the definition of found family, is it not? Hmm. <laughs> Looks like I'm like sim Venom Symbiote. <laughs> I am Eddie Brock. And Eddie Brock, the suit is, oh wait, no, never mind. <laughs> the way she's standing looking at me. Man, could you not do that, man? From you two. Then we're gonna get you mean that we're gonna get married? What? When will Uncle be my dad? <laughs> Her daddy issues run so deep, dude. <laughs> Holy moly. I guess if your if your real dad is so Sejima, you would have some issues. The open Omiyaki war. Iris drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. <laughs> she wanted to start another war. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe even every day. Oh, you. Every Damn. Day? Every day. Exactly. It means we're going to get married. Hitomi, do you want to live together? The three of us? Dude. Uh, are you sure? What do you mean? <laughs> You're an assassin. People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically, what if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? The nice it laws? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Well, uh, you think I care about some zombies? I'm like, you know, I'm like the Chris Redfield, Leon Kennedy of this world. Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. But fine. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then, my answer is yes. Let's go. My boy getting laid. After all these years, we can finally do it. But only so, if I win. you wanna go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Wow. Should be simple, no? This is always oh, because of Saito. This is... This is... You've gone soft, man. I understand why Rohan uh, Kumakura wanted these two dead. Yeah. So Sejima asked Rohan to take Monica's corpse deep into the mountains, where no one would find it. Rohan found out that Hitomi knew about it. And also raising the daughter of Monica. He also found that Monica had given birth to a child. The media could go, uh, got a hold of it. Congress, Congressman Sejima would be ruined. And that information would no doubt lead to discovering Monica's murder. So inside will be arrested immediately. The investigation would lead straight to Rohan. But Rohan never told Soba, he told me and Iris. I don't know why. Maybe he decided it wasn't important enough to mention. He played it close to the chest. Need to know bases only. That way, there's no loose ends. That's why Rohan hired the assassin Falco. Meaning me. To kill Itomi and Iris. You got it? I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. <laughs> Man says, yeah, if you can do it on your off time, that's fantastic. Good luck. Of course, I couldn't go through with it. If I didn't kill them, someone else would. I was sure of it. I needed a plan. How could I get out of the organization and keep them safe? But I couldn't think of anything. I didn't know what to do. I needed advice. An old friend. Who's the old friend? Oh, I from see. Boss.
That makes so much more sense. I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, all right? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. The truth is, Boss and I were both the same rookie class of police recruits in our 20s. We are close ever since. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? One idea where I... S so Boss was the one who put me up to it. She's like, I had this machine. <laughs> but you gotta trust me, dude. We'll swap you bodies with Rohan, and then you swap bodies with Soi Saito Tsujima. Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. The boss explained Abyss and sinking to me. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does have another function. You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Okay. And then what? Then you can send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. And then you swap back. I mean, in theory, very what nice. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. Okay, but I still, I don't get to... M no one mm. will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? Don't tell me I was in the police force this whole time. She made a good point. And no reservation about giving my body. My body was soaked in so much blood over the years. I almost was glad to get rid of it. But I did have one single regret. With my body swapped, I couldn't show myself to Hitomi or Iris. I'd never be able to see them again. But I didn't care. As long as they were safe. Alright. Leave everything to me, Hayato Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Dude, what a, what a fucking fire name. Hayato Yagyu. Call me the samurai, dude. That was my real name. Yagyu Mun Muninori, Muninori. Boss, how did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that okay? I mean, it's fine. Yeah. It'll be fine, <laughs> because he's about to switch bodies. Exactly. All right, Rohan has been put to sleep. He will not be waking up for a while. Are you sure you want to like leave the body of an assassin and then Remember, like... to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know, I understand. Six minutes. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes. Right? Oh, I, ooh, I got the chills. We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three, two, one. Yeah, are, are you sure you want to transfer your consciousness from from Falco, like ex assassin, to Rohan, leader of the Yakuza gang, the Kumakuras? Oh, he saw it all there. And I was there in this in the corner. Damn. Stop. Please. Damn, she got choked the fuck out. Okay, I, I get it, dude. Man. He's upgrading his weapons every time. First it's his hands, and then it's a rock. Now it's a gun. Love that they show, like, you know, him as, like, a red, like, normal-sized person when Rohan's, like, a giant person. You're... It's... Me? Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean I'm Hayato Yagyu? The switch worked. Let's go, dude. The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough <laughs> in the case. 
I'm so, dude, I'm so huge. I know. You don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. Saito Tsujima. Boss Computer explained. There wasn't just one Cyclops killer, there were two. One was Rohan, the other was Saito Sejima. The sink revealed everything. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. <laughs> we'll interrogate him as me. Huh? He's gone! How did he leave so fast? What? W w what was my officer doing? Pewter, where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. W what was my police officer doing there? He, he just like stood there and let me leave? Oh wait, he he's me. Fuck, I forgot, he's me. Hey, which way did Rohan go? Huh? Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan. Yagyu, where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why didn't you stop him? Why would I stop him? What do you him? mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. It's true. Did I do something wrong? No, don't tell me. <laughs> Whoops. I shot out of the room like a bullet. I had a bad feeling. An awful, terrible feeling down, my, down to my bones. I knew where he was headed. I ran to the parking lot, got into a car, and floored it. Oh, that's so. That memory is from when I visited, or he, she oh, visited, whatever. Hello. What are you doing here at this hour? Here to finish the job. Such beautiful eyes. Oh, stop. You're always flattering me. Anyway, um, come on in. I'll make us some tea. I'm a cold motherfucker, huh? Oh shit. You bastard! It was me saving me from myself. No, stop! Oh shit. Left shoulder plate, huh? Or right shoulder, sorry. No. Stop right there! We got the cops here. I'm impressed by boss walking into the room first with no protection. Where the armored guys with the riot shields don't do anything. Huh. Huh. Well, I, I'm, you know, props to the cops for all being ready and like getting there pretty much as soon as I did. First time the, the cops were on time. Tomi had to endure a long and complicated surgery, but she survived. But it came at a price. She was left with a permanent injury. She lost all use of her right hand. Thanks to the bullet I fired from my own gun. I said nothing. I got up and left the hospital room. Left all my memories with her. That night. I visited the Kumakura building and called them all together. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris. Hitomi Sagan? Are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir. sir! Okay, good show. I used the 1% of my brain to become Rohan. I went to Sos Mansion, by boss's request. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops murders. As long as you're like that, I think he'll be more open with you. Exactly. So I went to, to the Sejima residence. When I got there, I said, I want to meet Saito into the intercom. After a while, the gate opened and Saito himself welcomed me. Dude, look at me. I'm so dapper. I mean, sorry, him. What is it you want to talk about? Dude! He's kinda he's kinda something. He's kinda sexy as a as a serial killer, no? I mean I am. 
One of the victims of the right eye had taken out. About Rohan and Saito. About the next target. Hold on, save, 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 save. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I make a, a terrible mistake here. <laughs> save before I make a terrible mistake. But the next target. Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? <laughs> Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. A name you decided. My bad. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. <laughs> so there's so there's no relation to Greek mythology? You're the one who came up with it. What's I told Rohan? How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica. Well, not the not the first, the last time. And my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Exactly. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. You have beautiful eyes. That was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. Hemispatial neglect? That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. Interesting. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. You can't recognize the right half of your vision? The same is true of the faces Just of those turn your head, killed. bozo. <laughs> if you if you can't see the left the right hand side of your eye or the right side of your body, just fucking t turn your head around. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye, which means you can only see the right half of their faces. What? What? Just dude, look with your left eye, close your other eye, and just look at their whole face. Turn your head. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. <laughs> A little bit of a weird reason, but bring him to Abyss. Hey, Saito, would you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps the police station? It is. It is exactly, in fact, the police station. Something got, suddenly, but you guys rushed out from inside the mansion. They surrounded me before I could react. What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. I didn't use my 1%. Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Well, that, that didn't turn out the way I wanted. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place, so it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. I see. You got into that body with the sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. I want to see it for myself. The okay. prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba, you there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. You with your daddy's money? Come on, man. You don't have money. Snot nose kid, I say to myself or you. A few days later, here it is. Me and me, me well, and me. It looks like preparations are complete. Let's say you and I get started. Damn, they they ship this thing over in two days. Better than Amazon. Jeez. Eye removal. You don't have to do that, bro. You know you can put it back in afterwards. Why, did, right. you, why did you do that? Let's go. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you can put it back in afterwards. Saito just like rips out his own eye. All right. Okay. Uh, 
Jeez, you're bloody, man. You are bloody. Damn. What are you doing? Follow him! <laughs> what, what are you doing? Follow him. Everyone just left R Rohan Saito there to die? Did you get into the, into the wrong side of the machine? Or maybe I just got lucky. What happened there? Really? My memories after that were all lost in a violent haze. I was forced to be disconnected during the sink. Saito's mind overwhelmed me. Only my consciousness was sent over. My memories were left behind in my original brain. I thought I'd have some of Saito's memories to cling to. But I never picked them up. Because they weren't mine to hold. I felt like the reality itself was disappearing. I was confused and lost. Like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I could barely feel my feet beneath me. Walking under the city lights. When I regained my uh, faculties, I found that I was in Golden Yokucho. I wandered with no destination mind was interrupted by a woman. You're Saito Sejima? No, I'm... Hmm. I guess not. Uh -huh. Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so... Yeah. We lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? Just as I thought. You've lost your memory. Yep. All right. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me. <laughs> All right, boss, where take you me. Belong. To where you belong in abyss. Damn, boss, we got a free free recruit. I managed to make a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. Kaname Date. So that's the name boss gave to me. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. Ah, cool. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine. Trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one. Never mind. Oh, so so boss is working with So here. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Isn't the nice name to of meet a... you, Date. Oh, I see. I understand. Hayato Yagyu to Kaname Date. Ah! One year later. I was called in the control room. Peter had something to show me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Aiba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Peter, I love you, Peter. You just be some nerdy little guy making some crazy waifus for the world. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Dude, this is so sick, dude. I'd be like fucking ecstatic. How are you feeling? I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Where am I, dude? What was Falco's real name? You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? I don't know what my name is. You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. And then became a hitman. Imagine, a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they- Heads would roll, departments would fold, there would be shameful suicides. I mean, heads already rolled. You don't have to do that to me. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Oh, true. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist, and Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison, where he was known as Number 89, fitting for a man with no name. What happened after we exchanged minds? 
What are you doing? Follow him. I, I dipset. <laughs> I dipset, and then you finish the sink on your own. After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. Did it really? Mental hospital moment. No! Stop! <laughs> you, yeah, show me this twice. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time, for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. <laughs> Whoops. However... <laughs> Whoops. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. Okay, cool, nice. About Rohan after the personality change. Stop right there! He shot. Oh, sorry, he didn't shoot. Let's go, dude. <sighs> Man went to jail. Locked behind bars for years. Six years ago, Rohan, in Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It, it, a little hasty for you to just do that right after a it sink, I think. Sense. Yeah. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Me and you cut from the same cloth. Sito Sejima. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so true. You deserved far worse. Oh, it's coming from you, Saito. That's Consider rich. Yourself lucky. That's rich. Okay. It's time for me to save right before I counterattack. <laughs> Don't want this to go badly. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Counterattack time. Saito is off guard. Might be able to make a move. Try to sweep Saito's feet, but then... That's my gun! You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. So you could see me see them suffer. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. <laughs> Except the true streamer personality in him. Twitch streamer Saito Sejima. So... What do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. To the count One, of three. Two. Two. Three. Th <laughs> I cut him off. I'm not gonna... No, wait! Okay. Okay, MoMA. Damn. Let's go, MoMA. Let's go, MoMA! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But... Are you really Date? Yeah. How'd you know? Uh, someone called Aiba told me about it. S Let's go, Aiba. Uh, it was weird. It was kinda like eavesdropping. Aiba? Where is she? Uh, I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> In sight his left eye socket. Uh, What's wrong? Sorry, but the bastard got me. Man, MoMA. What a Chad MoMA, dude. Hey, take this. Hunting rifle. Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Yes. Please, save them. Oh, you bet, MoMA. You bet. I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun following Saito. Let's finish this charade. Here we go. Don't, 
Doom. How did you had it ready? Iris! I can make this shot. I played so much hunt. So much hunt showdown. Date, do you like fireworks? Oh, what a cliche line for you to say here. I love them. A brilliant, Ew. glimmering fragment of time. Ew, this expression is so nasty. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? Damn it! I can't get him on my set. And I can't get any help from Iba. Blooming. You can. Scattering in them. And it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think they'll so? They'll stop this po poetic riffraff. Should I just risk it? If I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. You gotta stop with this expression. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect. Beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it. What do I do? What do I do? Do I shoot? I can make this shot. I'm a trained assassin. Toria! Oh my god. Mizuki. Let's you go. Bastard. What do you think you're doing to Iris? Let's go, dude. Tessa. I'm here to help. Dude. I but called everyone. Wait, Mizuki. Oh shit. Damn. <laughs> Me and you, buddy. Yeah. Okay, easy. Nah. I'm surprised he's that nimble. Oh, the knockout punch. <sighs> Give him the fucking sure you can. Sure you can lie on the floor. You have permission. Let's go. A uh, dude, Did you find I, him? I become in clutch. No, I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? Oh shit. How's your foot? I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. Okay, fine. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. When did you get here? Some girl named Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping, too. I heard it, too. From Saito. From Zuko, Saito. It's really you, right? It's me. Kaname Date. <laughs> We're gonna save. Uh, we, we have to keep saving. I'm so scared to die right here. That is actually crazy. Okay, let's let's go then. How do I go? I heard stairs. footsteps earlier. Like someone going up the stairs. To the top floor. Okay. So where, where am I, how am I getting there? This ladder? A ladder. Rope? Rope. Pipe? Pipe? Why is there a pipe here? Scaffolding. There's just so, so much to click in here. I can't see Saito. Equipment. Ota? You came to help? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. Okay, We're come on. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Oh, come on, Mizuki. Right. Got it. Don't worry about now, but I have to find Hitomi. Can't think about him right now. I need to find his scaffolding. Where the hell is he? Container. He's not behind the container. Scaffolding. Where is Saito? Call him. Scaffolding. I have to find him. Damn it. Someone's life is in danger. I gotta find Saito now. Where the hell? Where are you? I can't see Saito. Where the hell is he? 
There he is. In the control room. Date. Hitomi? Hitomi! I sprinted as fast as I could, rushing the stairs step after step until they blurred together. When I reached the top floor, I said I will never gr forget greet my eyes. If I could see... Oh, again? Damn it! Mom! Iris! It seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? Do chill, do chill. <laughs> oh, am I wrong? <gasps> so you don't want to see the fireworks? I don't, I really don't, Gates. Not even the time for that. Fine. Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. Don't, don't call me Dante, I'm Hayato Yagyu. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Date! I know don't he's do lying. It. Throw down your gun, Date. I know he's lying. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Date! You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. I know. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Tate? What will you do? Okay, hold on, hold on. Save. Right here, save. This is the important decision. Let's see. Pull the trigger. Get his ass. I can't, I can't hit him at this range. I can't aim with one eye. Pull the trigger. If only Ivo was here, I could take him out with her assist gauge. Pull the trigger. Damn it! My limbs are weak. Is it the sedative? Pull the trigger. It's no good. I can't get him in my sights. If I pull the trigger now. Pull the trigger! I've only got one shot. If I miss, it's all over. Pull the trigger. This gun is a bolt action rifle. If I fire and miss, He'll have enough time while I'm pulling back the lever, too. Oh, shut up, man. Pull the trigger. I can't miss. Hitomi's life is on the line. Pull the trigger. How can I make this shot? Even if I don't take the shot, Hitomi's still in danger. Pull the trigger. I have no choice. Please hit him. Did it work? I watched the bullet slice through Saito's cheek and bruise the... And buried itself in the back wall with a bang. Next moment. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I guess the game was telling me not to pull the trigger. The sound of my mind shattering. I, I, I suppose. I guess uh, the, the game was telling me. Bad end. The game was telling me not to pull the trigger. I see. <laughs> I understand now completely. Would you like to save? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's save. I guess we're gonna take, uh... Damn, we don't have enough... Let's save in slot 7. That works, that works. Okay, well, we're at the vi This is This must be the very end. This must be the vi like, literally the very end. It's like so close to the end of the sheet, guys. Okay. Iris! Let's go back to where we were. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Daddy. Okay. I have to not pull the trigger. <sighs> Man, that stings. Well done. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? <clears throat> you have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. That's not how counting works, Saito. Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Date, look! It's that girl I told you about. Iba's a VTuber. Iba. Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I cannot escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric shock either. However, there is another option. Huh? Self-destruct. Iba. Let us determine a code number. 
Command 41205. 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? A lie. Or something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Okay. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. I'm speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Correct. I will be destroyed as well. Iba. Ten. Say it, Date. Six. Five. Date, command. Two. Okay, I, I got a command. Okay, I threw the gun down. <laughs> you are even more of an idiot than I thought. No, you're the idiot. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? You don't actually. Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? Wait, wait, wait till you see this one, huh? I mean, I, I will see the one firework. It's true. After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. You're so far away, you can't see anything. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. I know. Goodbye, Iba. Goodbye. Command 41205. Okay, Date. Okay, Iba. I. I. I... I don't love you, Iba. I hate you, Iba. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. Sayonara. Man... Are you serious? Golly... All's well that ends well, right guys? Has Iba well always well. been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Well, th the point was that nobody I gets to know. thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. <laughs> oh, this is weird now. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco. This it is, is you, Falco. Th this is I weird. You shouldn't call me that. I 
and Konami Date, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. The name Falco is left behind. The name Hayato Yagyu is left behind. The only thing left is Konami Date. Three months later, Kasai. Ikume Shrine, everybody. This is it. Three months later. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. Do you like my new body? The way you are now is more familiar for me anyways. My old uncle is back, you know? That's true. Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? Let's go, Iris. So I'm really that ugly, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's a rugged kind of handsome. A rugged kind of handsome, how are you? As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop, kangaroo goes hop. Hop, hop, kangaroo goes hop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Let's go, free of cancer. Yeah, the nano machines went pew, pew, and bzz, bzz, and got rid of all the tumors. At least, that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. Nano machine, son. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? The boss did. That's not exactly true. Boss didn't pay out of her pocket. It was a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Naris knows everything about the original and the new Cyclops kill serial killings now. Not just her. Hitomi, Mizuki, Ota, Moma. They all know. The higher-ups were willing to do anything to keep it from getting out. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris' treatment. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. You do. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality. In a dream somewhere. Yep, in another timeline. We fed it to you. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Why did you come back here? Why did you want to come back here? Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. If you wanted to experience you kicking my ass and rock paper scissors again. As fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. That's Put crazy. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win, yay! By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. Mm, what question? What question? Oh, that's right. When am I gonna hear good news from you two? We, I mean, we already said yes, we just didn't, we, things happened, okay? When will Uncle be my dad? You waited like 12 years for this info. I turned away without answering. I stared out to the distance and something caught my eye. Winter Iris is in full bloom. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. Today, Iris was discharged from the hospital. Iris said she wanted to see everyone who visited her, but she's a little embarrassed to go by herself, so I promised I'd take her. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? You gonna go out on a date with your dad? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. So let's go! Oh god, there's so many places to see. Let's uh, take a victory lap, I suppose. Let's start with marble. Let's, take, let's go down the list this time. Or up the list this time instead of down. Mama, we're back. We're back, Mama. We're back. And in one piece, too. Dante, honey. Who is this? <laughs> what do you mean, who is Have this? Have I not introduced her before? 
I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. <laughs> there's just a there's just a bodyguard here at all times now. A virgin. Hmm? I'm just saying, <laughs> sweetie. You look like you don't know a lot of men. <laughs> you look like you don't know a lot of men. <laughs> and what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey. Honestly, she dresses like a fairy, too. Because I associate with fairies, and I'm an older, motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? <laughs> you are. Oh, boy. Good to have you back. Just a very, like, you know, whimsical feel. How, how are you doing with the Bonito? This? It's not Bonito. Then, what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? Of course she's joking. Am I? Hmm. <laughs> How are you? As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. How yeah. could I see that? How could... <laughs> you want to? I do. I want to see. You don't want to see that. Do you even know what she's referring to? Huh? <laughs> well, things from the past few months. I can't say much. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. Exactly. Well, that's not true. And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. But, and number 89 is me. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. Oh, no, that, that part is true. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that, but... I guess most people haven't seen 89, so they can just say it's anybody. Saito Sejima and his body are both gone forever. The body that I was in for the past six years. But the head office would never admit that publicly. Because at the time, the body was thought to be that of Detective Kaname Date. So they tweaked the things a little bit and pinned everything on 89. So that he committed suicide at the old factory. Only Kaname Date managed to survive. That's how they wrote it. That's not the truth. The bar counter. The tar bounder. Uncle, that word on the chalkboard, salsicha? What is that? You don't want about the salsicha. It's what Italians say when they find a seat for their friend Sal. <laughs> Sal, seat yourself. It's sausage. <laughs> I, n not that kind of sausage. Mama, the truth is... Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. Okay. The Date's okay. face for one thing. Okay, but I'm hotter now, right? Looking exactly like number 89. They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that by chance. By chance? Really? That's the excuse? That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. Well, you see... <laughs> Leave. See ya. We should head out. Yeah. Oh, leaving so soon? Yeah, leaving soon. Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information for me. Oh, enough work. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. Sure, Mama. See you soon. Okay, next one. Kumakura's office. Well, we get to bring, uh, the Tessa in for... Tessa in for uh, MoMA. Dude, let's go, dude. Date, let me tell you something. God exists. When Tessa was in the hospital, I pray to this shrine every day. And guess what? My prayers worked. God must have been listening. Let's go, MoMA. I'm happy uh, for you, dude. You crying? No, dumbass. I don't cry. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Thank you, God. Thank you for saving Tessa. <laughs> that read is so good. <laughs> that read is really, really good. Okay. Anyway, what, what are you doing here? Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa, you didn't have to come see me. Of course she did. I really wanted to see you. Oh, well, well in that case, yes, of course. Uh, I, I am here. Okay, get the guy out of the member. You're close. You weren't the right size. Shut up! None of your business. I lost a lot of weight, okay? I lost a lot you of weight, okay? Look like you're dying. I'm not. You really should see a doctor. 
Oh, Tessa. Believe it or not, I am a doctor. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am a doctor. Seriously? Yeah, he doesn't look like it, but he, he really is a doctor. They come to me when they don't want to go to a real hospital. Ah, I see. So... Yeah, he's our mob doctor. <laughs> uh, what's your name, bro? Why would I tell you? I want to know, too. I'll tell you. My name is Yogano. Okay. You lost all that weight because of a girl. Boss? Yeah, some nurse at Central. Nasu, I think. Nasu! Uh... <laughs> Yogano, he has a medical license? Y Yogano? Oregano? Uncle, let's make our date exciting until the end, okay? We wouldn't want to get too tangled up together. You're right, we wouldn't. Wait a minute. Date? No, date, not date. Date. Hey, Iris, about these lanterns. Yeah? Is there anything a candle reminds you of? Is it a dick? <laughs> You're not supposed to answer, MoMA. No, come on, you weren't supposed to say it. Hey, member B, you all right, man? Do I look all right? <laughs> Everyone has depression here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard you got plastic surgery. You look better than before. It suits you. Thank you, man. I'm not sure I take that compliment. The fat one. Wow. That is rude. That is real rude, Date. The fat one. Okay. Yeah, at least we got some... You know, honestly, for, for as much as they joke about that kind of stuff, uh, this game was kind of ahead of its time, you know, in terms of LGBT representation. Wedding. Wedding. Dress. Bless. Tessa. Imaging. Compress. Process. Tessa. Crime. Redress. Transgress. Tessa. The Net Idol Superstar. Tessa. They set you bet. Wow. That's really cool. Damn, that's what crazy. What do you do to these guys? Converted. Just a little propaganda. Converted. The sun up to sun down. I made him watch your videos, Tessa. They got addicted. Let's go, Tessa, dude. Tessa, I'm so honored to meet you. Is it okay if I shake your hand? You bastard. What makes you think you're good enough <laughs> to touch her hand? It's fine. It's just a handshake. Yes. Let's go, dude. Fallon ran up to her and with a look of awe in his eyes, slowly shook it to so her hand. Soft. He shouted out in joy. He died. What? He fainted. Too much excitement, I guess. <laughs> okay, mob doctor. How's your injury? Injury? You got shot three months ago. Y yeah, you survived that and lived. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. I'm all good now. Didn't even hurt, you said, as you keeled over on the scene of the crime and made me do everything else. About Rohan. Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. I know he was a murderer. A real piece of shit. But we were brothers. I can't be mad at him, no matter how much he deserves it. But I can't just forgive him either, you know? So I figure, fuck it. It's better to just forget about him. Leave. All right, man. See you later. Anyway, sorry to bother you, Moma. Date, wait. Before you go, I have one favor to ask. Do you want to see your panties? Oh boy, here it comes. <laughs> this is hard for me to get out, but uh... yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties, right? <gasps> panties? I never ask for something like that. I'd never ask for something like what that. What do you want? Puff, puff. Uh, I'm sorry. You want to smoke a cigarette? I want Tessa to puff puff me. You know what I'm saying? Just shove my face in there. Do you want to motorboat her? Just. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you, you know kidding what? me? Fine, I'll ask. Dante, you're a real friend. Okay. All right. Close your eyes. Yeah, yeah. like this. Good, yeah. Do not open your eyes, okay? Promise. Okay, so what's happening here? Well, why is it off screen? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, dude. Whoa, Dante! I've never felt so alive! All these shitty years of my life, 
have been worth it! But... Let's go. I don't know what's going on, but okay. This is amazing! I am living! Okay, well, you got what he wanted. See you, buddy. Monster should have died. Let's say hi to... to Ota here. I guess I am Konami Date still. I just got plastic surgery, guys, and now I look exactly like Falco. I mean, uh, 89. Oh, Tessa! Your surgery went well. Is this Nasu? It? Ota told me all about it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you! Is this Nasu? Oh, who is this? Oh, um... I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? Uh, Ota has so many older gentlemen friends. Thank you for taking care <laughs> of my boy. You're welcome. Oh, the nurse. You're... It's Nasu. You're the nurse from Central Hospital. Well, yes. Ooh. Have we met? That's right, my face is different than when we first met. Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. Hmm. Wow, imagine if the doctors came in to send you medication. That'd be insane. You seem pretty happy. I belong to the Association of Nurse Actresses. I got a call from my director this morning. Associ me more lines. Association of Nurse Actresses. I used to have a bit part during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end too. Let's go. I'm Congratulations. Really happy about that. That's wonderful, sweetie. <laughs> oh, old mom moment. Oh, that's wonderful, sweetie. What's your name? Nasu. Hanayo Nasu. Yep, Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. Wow. You're getting married? Yes. That is so wonderful. Thank you. Don't tell me. Seriously? <laughs> exactly. Seriously? She's a nurse from the hospital. Uh, Bone Iris. I visited her in the hospital. Oda brought me. Yeah, I remember. I was so charmed by her. No, stop. You're making me blush. I had no idea she was such a nice girl. I had no you idea. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. But now I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We'll talk about the sauce. Menu. Kuroda Kazuaki's rib roast with soy sauce. Kuroda Kazuaki? No. That says cold teriyaki. <laughs> you tried, man. It's actually cold teriyaki. I guess we've been reading it wrong the whole time. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices. Okay, tell me about the liquid. And an unidentified liquid. Homemade soy sauce, huh? Disposable chopsticks. Condiments. High chair. Kid's seat. Chair. What? Uncle, this is serious. A stool. It's... It's... A round chair! And... Have you run out of things to comment on? <laughs> This is cute. A table. Window. Nothing but windows. Hey, that's my big sister. Uh, apparently that's her sister. I've been ogling her sister this whole time. Menu is written into Tanzaku paper. I'm gonna miss this place, man. Fortune. Lucky cat. It's supposed to bring you happiness, the owner. Low table. A tow label. But the diner. It's doing great, thanks to you. Thanks to me? What'd I that do? The lunch rush is always crazy. My husband and I are working oh, okay. hard. We never get any time to rest. <laughs> My own sense of a brain dysfunction. I learned about that before the incident three months ago. Once she died, was actually closed up and her husband's already passed away. Before she turned out that most of the most advanced medical technology you can't cure her dementia. But her medicine helps her ma 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 manage her symptoms. A little odd, but it brings Mayumi happiness. To her, her husband's still alive. Her diner is still in business. I don't know if she remembers me. I look different than I did three months ago. Also shorter, by a lot. She'd ask me who I was, after all. But even if I were my old body, she might have just still asked the same thing. But she doesn't remember Iris. Is that because she's Oda's friend? I'm Oda's friend too, remember me. <laughs> about Ota. Ota? That boy is a handful of trouble, I tell you. It's true, though. That's, that's never changed. That's not true. Shut up, Iris. Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time calls for it. Okay. Of course, 99% of life is not the time when the time calls oh, for it. 
here praising my boy. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. Time to go. It's, I'm out of here, buddy. Well, let's get going. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. Hmm. Map. Sunfish Pocket, Lemnis Gate, Sagan Residence, Sejima Residence, and then Abyss. Where, where is Mizuki? Is she at Sunfish Pocket? That would make sense, probably, instead of staying home, being a shut-in. I am seriously so Ota's. happy for you, Tessa. It's thanks to you, Ota. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. I didn't do much. That's true. You didn't. I just risked my life to save you. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, <laughs> saving your life. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, I see Oda is still Oda. Hey, mermaid, about my face. Oda told me. Plastic surgery, right? I kind of like this face. More than the other one. You're good at your job. Please come again. You're good at your job. Mermaid's still sitting there with the hips, right? X-ray... Oh, no, I don't have the X-ray! Other mermaids. Men are in there like, are like to, likely to see Davy Jones soon. Chair. What kind of chair uh, plays music? Rocking chair? Nope. The correct answer is a love seat. With me and Tessa in it. Wow. Okay, buddy. Uh, will you marry me? No. <laughs> okay, buddy. Ota. Iris, what's your relationship with these girls here? You didn't know? I made lots of friends working here part time. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? <laughs> Excuse me? Ota, you can't just say that. <laughs> uh, Iris is sitting here. Empty wooden box. Trident's a trident. Chair, window, surveillance camera. This is where this is where Renju was sitting in the other timeline. <laughs> Light. Ota, how have you been? I've been doing good. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor during the day, and writing at night. Let's go, Ota. I might just be the hardest working 20-something in Japan. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> really, though? I've got to be, like, in the top three in Tokyo alone. Top three in Tokyo. I thought of kicking his ass, but I didn't think I would take. Shadows. Shadows. Thread, silhouette, a set. Fears. Upset, regret, a set. Water. Wet, sweat, a set. Nice. Good job. A set. You bet. I can't believe you remembered that, Uncle. I'm so happy. Uh, I said with most you. of it. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're okay, man. I'm actually exhausted right now, but I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway, how are you? I'm doing... I guess I'm all right. Yeah. In your left eye, uh... It's fake. I can't see anything out of it. And it doesn't talk. Huh? I see. So, and it doesn't talk. Iba? Yeah, she's gone. Uh, it's okay. Pewter will come around. Pewter will come around and, um... Make me a new one. What a tragedy. Don't worry, I trust in Pewter. Feed it to me. Uh... Oh, feed it to him. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm glad he's enjoying himself. A tragedy? Yeah. She was so cute. What a waste. Ah, uh, that's why. If she yep. were real, I would marry her. Wouldn't we all, Oda? You would not survive the attempt. What do you mean? I'd have to kill you. Ota, what are you seeing? In front of Iris? Oh, Tessa, I was kidding. It was a joke. It's fine, I don't care. Thank goodness. I don't think that's what she means. <laughs> Iris is just sitting there. Lota's laptop. All right, see it. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be going now. Well, Ota. Aw, you're going already? Yeah, I can see you anytime I want, right? At Matsushita Diner? You'll... you'll come? Of course. Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome. Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. I only accept one omelet rice, and that's uh, Kichi Kichi style. You gotta make it the, the demi glass. Lemnis Gate. Oh, it's nice to take a, like a victory lap, guys, isn't it? I saw Mizuki and I, when I, uh, 
when I saw Lemnus Gate. Because of what happened this morning, Mizuki and I are in something of, of a cold war. She won't even look at me. We're both stubborn. Neither of us want to apologize first. Maybe you can help me. Yo. Yo! She don't me with all her might. Yeah. Yeah! I extend my hand like a sword ready to strike. You wanna fight me? She didn't say take it as a joke. Better not fight her. I don't wanna get, get workers comp for that. <laughs> I wouldn't get workers comp for that. Hello. How are you? Creepy old man. Nothing, mm. huh? Man. Looking carefully, I see letters at the bottom. Fisherman with a, uh, a uh, cor cormorant and dandelion. Which part is the dandelion and which part is the cormorant? Look, Dante, an ant lion. A plant. Uncle, look! It's a Thyreocephalus orthodoxus! Thank you, Iris. You too? How do you <laughs> know this stuff? <laughs> Yo, it's the driver! You! Moi? I am merely a taxi driver, my good man. Have we met? Well, <laughs> let me see. No, I don't think we've ever crossed paths. That's not true, driver. I have an excellent memory. I usually remember my customers, but I cannot place your face. That's because I'm not a customer, okay? Look different than 33 months ago. Wait a minute. <laughs> By the way, did you want to introduce me? Let's go, high table. Oh, I've missed you, high table joke. Oh, I've missed you. Oh, I'm so happy you're back. What? Did you forget? You wanted me to meet this table. Three months ago, you asked me to say hello to it. I didn't say that. You idiot. <laughs> High stool. High table. Vending machine. Monitor. That's an old Yankichi Cinema video. Oh, Yankichi Cinema. That's like, so rare. Who? Who? How do you all know who that is? <laughs> me and everybody ever. Special Dark Side of Public Safety. I'll give that one a read. Alright, can you ask if Mizuki is graduating soon? Uncle wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? Just buy me a new junior high uniform and hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school. That's not what she- that's not what- she doesn't sound like that at all. And a new smartphone. And a new iron pipe. That's what she said. Okay. Can you ask Mizuki why she's here? Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited daddy's stock at Lemnisgate. This is my company now. Isn't it natural that I'd be here? That's what she <laughs> she's said. She's the CEO now. Can you ask Mizuki how she's been? Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together, of course you don't know. Because we barely talk. Okay, Even after geez. you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. That's what she said. Well, does, it, does it make you sisters? I'm gonna marry you, tell me, no? Uh. Can you cut this out already? Thank you. What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy, and then Date. And then Date. How can I eat eggs like that? I want my eggs over well. Burn to the pan on the bottom and chewy on top. Why don't you just eat an eraser? <laughs> an eraser would taste better than what you served. You shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. That's mean. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Why don't you be honest and apologize? Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? When I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. That's what you said. No, I didn't. And you were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. Was I not? Was I not? What? Then... Well, was that a memory? Anyway, why don't you just make up already? If Date keeps his promise, I will. Promise? The stew? You said you would take me. I, I will. Oh, that. Yeah, uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, fine. Soon, okay? You promise? Promise. <laughs> just Good. just asking for a reason to... Again? Just asking for a reason to, you know, forgive anyway. you. Anyway. Should we head out, Iris? Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. Okay. Mizuki looks mad. Understandable. No, it's okay. Sagan residence. Let's go see Hitomi. <sighs> yep. Sagan residence. Hi, Hitomi. Or future wife, I suppose. Iris. 
Didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital today? Yeah, well, we're done. Yes, Mom. I still have some people to see. But Uncle really wanted to come here. I said That's no true. such thing. Come on, don't be shy. There are a lot of things you want to talk about, right? That's true, come it's on, been six just years. Do it. Okay, I'll do it for you. But I'm not ready. Of course I want to talk to you, Tomi. I want to ask her about all the things that the past six years. It's not for me to ask. Ever s even showing up here like this isn't right, honestly. Uh, Uncle, you're so shy. Iris is teasing me. Maybe I should use that sometimes. She could help me loosen up from some of my rusted screws. Talk to her. Who cares about me? Talk to her. That's what you came for, right? That's true. T. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> you said the same thing six years ago. Low table. Oh, wait, uh, refrigerator. Oh my, the, the elephant's not there anymore, man. The kitchen. Oh, this is life. This place is lifeless now. With no ref with no refrigerator elephant or refrigerator giraffe. The shoebox. You don't change. I caught you six years ago doing the same thing. <laughs> ah, you saw that. <laughs> you pervy old man. Jeez. Nostalgic. Door. Door behind the black room. How have things been? Things have calmed down, thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. How about Ice's recovery? Thank you. This is all thanks to you, Falco. No, I didn't do anything. Also, uh, that name... Oh, sorry, Mr. Date. I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. No more Falco, guys. It, it just it just straight up dead naming me in 2022-3. But Monica and Renju. They were my best friends. We would always go to this little coffee shop after school. So that's how I knew Renju, from through Hitomi. They had this old game machine there. It looked like a table, and it was about shooting invading aliens or something like that. You man played Galaga at the arcade? We talked about all sorts of things sitting there. Our love lives, our potential careers, things we didn't like about our teachers. Hitomi, why are you so quiet, Hitomi? I can't hear you over the music. idea that I become a teacher. They told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Those were such fun times. Hmm. But your right arm. Didn't ask her that. I was the one who did it to her. She doesn't know that. But it was me as Rohan, it's fine. No! Stop! She didn't she probably didn't remember anything about it. It's fine. It's fine. I was silent, but she must have noticed my face. If this is about my arm, don't worry about that. You tried to defend me. I know that. Hey, Toby and Iris knew everything about what happened so far. You're too nice, Mom. I will never forgive you. Uh, thank you, Iris. You have to take responsibility. Uh, you have to marry her now, become my dad. Uh, Iris. No, let me talk. Uncle will be your right arm. That's how he can make it up to you. That's true. Maybe not now. It might take some time, but I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right side, and we can go wherever we want. The three of us, to the ocean, a river, an amusement <laughs> park, barbecues, and we can make okonomiyaki. No more okonomiyaki. <laughs> I'm done going to war. Where's that hot plate I bought? On the shelf. And I'm gonna need a raincoat. Hey, that's cheating! You're planning on being covered in flour? Of course, that's why it's fun! <laughs> <laughs> Six years ago, I was an assassin. Nothing I can do now, now will make up those crimes disappear. But if, if I protect them, make sure they're always smiling for the rest of my days. I figured that might be enough to outweigh my sins. See you later, Tomi. One stop at the Sejima residence. And then to Abyss. Hey. I feel she didn't want to see him. 
Park the car a little ways down. She doesn't know that I'm here. I see your face has improved. This one doesn't make me so angry. Yeah. It's not because it, it's because it's not his son's face, I guess. I don't know who told him, but he must know about the switch. What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. Kappa. No Kappa in the pond. A tree. Wow, it's so lifeless that Iba, man. Where's my where's my banter partner? I miss having that. Why are you here? That's a strange question to ask a man in his own home. <laughs> I live, why are you here? I live here. I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. Even though we both know you committed a crime. Indeed. 18 years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But Who's you hired now? the Kumakuras to hide the body. Yeah, well, it's complicated, isn't it? The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. Damn, only three years? I, are you familiar with Article 105? Oh of the my God, he, he's he's a redditor. Get me out of here. Relatives of those who have committed crime cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. Okay, okay, I understand. That's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. The media has already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest of my days in leisure. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. <laughs> people who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. That's none of your concern. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Th that's it, man. Why did you call Shoko's phone? Iba. Three months ago, 9.02pm on the Friday Shoko's body was found. So-called, so-called so her burner phone. I asked him why. Do you recall the conversation we had? That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you called her phone? Yes. Why did 89 want you to contact Shoko? I can't say exactly. The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. Ah! The switch. At the time Rohan was in the body of 89. Maybe Rohan realized it was Shoko it, when Shoko came to visit the prison. He re remembered himself. There was really Saito inside Shoko's body. That's what he meant by realized everything. Rohan needed to speak with Saito again, but he couldn't. Not inside Fuchu prison. Instead, he called up So and had him do it. Maybe he thought he could get to Saito to visit, visit again. What the chemical plant eight years ago? I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Kabasaki. Hmm. It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kumakuras at the time. We knew that, As though. As you know, my son Saito was abnormal with all of the awful things that my son did. I used my money to cover it up, but that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. <laughs> Man. Dad, I thought of a plan, a foolproof plan to make us rich. Okay. Sell our house, the chemical explode. plant explosion plan. To help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. It was Saito's idea. Well, it worked, didn't it? True. My son was born with an abnormal mind. But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. <laughs> yeah, well. So, too, too late for that, huh? A little too late for that one, huh, Since, huh boss? Uh, well, not boss, but... So, Sajima. Boss respectfully, you know, that kind of stuff. As soon as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened in him. In the end, 
That's what led to his destructive, violent plan. You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. Perhaps. Let's see. Do you ever meet 89? By the way, did you ever meet number 89? No, I didn't. Did you ever see his face? No. Why? No reason. Huh. Why didn't you look for Saito six years ago? Six years, six years ago, my mind was planted into the, implanted into the body of Saito. Through the sink machine. I don't need the, I don't need the flashback for all these, man. <laughs> yeah, oh God. We try. <sighs> we just bust out the window after this. <sighs> Improper sink, huh? Wonder what happened. Lost my memory and ended up uh, wandering the streets with him until boss found me. She hired me at Abyss and gave me the name Kag Kaname Date. Kagami Nate. But so, Saito's father never even put the missing posters out to report of his son. Why? Because of the woman you call boss. Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole thing. I see. That's why he wasn't acting strange. You know about the Cyclops serial killings? The culprit is your son, Saito Sejima. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. You give me one thing, and I promise none of this will be released. So that's why up. Boss betrayed me in that one timeline. What is it? Leave Saito with us. Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. Do we have a deal? Yeah. I didn't have much of a choice, of course. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed and my political career would be over. Besides, I never held much love for him in the first place. <laughs> she was practically doing me a favor, so of course I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked quite nicely. Yeah, you got an in, huh? All right, see you. I'll be seeing you around. I'll be seeing you, so. <laughs> for, uh, I guess that, that was the last one for old time's sake, huh? I very much doubt that. Yeah, you're probably right. See you, buddy. We parted without saying goodbye. One oh, last damn. time. damn. I left Iris waiting. She might have got to get back to her soon. Where should we go next? One last thing. Abyss Headquarters. Our last stop. <sighs> Man, I'm gonna miss this game. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. Here it is. Who are you? Why are you asking? You see me every day. <laughs> are you gonna go to the club later? Interested? But you're still a bit too young. I'll take you when you're older. Promise. <laughs> you gonna go to a club about Iba? Still thinking about her, huh? Well, how can I not? We've been together for six years. No, not exactly. Well, I mean, he doesn't, but I do. Me. You two were great partners. Maybe not him, but me, okay? How come no one makes Iba merch, huh? I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I looked like I do now. I wasn't in Date's body, but Iba still obeyed me. Exactly. Second command confirmed. I understand. That's true, but you knew who I was. You're underestimating the Wadjet system. Huh? Iba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways. Including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew it was you, man. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I think, maybe, she knew your soul, Dante. All right, boss. Mario, talk to me. Where did you get that? Oh, oh you haven't heard? Starting next year, that's going to be the official flag of Japan. Let's go! Wow, really? Yeah, really. About six years ago. Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? 
Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. That's true. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. Makes sense. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. <laughs> uh, you know, I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. By the way, Date, I have hmm. a gift for you. Uh, yeah. A gift? Oh, shit. Close your eyes. Yes, I did. I, uh, I did as I was told. Close my eyes. When suddenly... Huh? Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. Uh, what? You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. What do you mean? Why? Shh. Sweet dreams, Dante. <laughs> I got knocked down in my own in your office with Iris just standing there. You're like, what the? I'm getting my eye back here, aren't I? This is the sink room. Where's Pewter? Where's Pewter? Oh, there he is. Pewter? Hey, and Kagami is here. Kagami, you are... Was it, uh, Kaneza? It's Kagami! Kaneza, where did you <laughs> even get that from? Only the first two letters are the same. Literally two-thirds of the name is totally <laughs> different. Oh, God, I'd never change. I heard... Plastic surgery, right? Must have been a really bad wound to have to remake your whole face like that. But it looks like it worked at least. Yeah. <sighs> did you sync with me? I did not. But I did use the sync chair. For what? Something. Okay, where's Iris? Don't worry. She's with the boss. She's safe. Okay, why, why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? This is not your home? Of course not. You should have been arrested three months ago. Peter was working with Renju, or to be precise, Saito inside of Renju. He was leaking confidential information to him. Peter also helped Rohan into the body of 89 escape. Peter was immediately punished and fired from the force. Yes, I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally <sighs> awful detention facility. Then how are you here? Hmm, I wonder. Don't act dumb. Date, it's okay. Boss brought him here. She did? She told us not to tell you. It's a present. Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? Why am I here then? Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you. You know, that's I why know. she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? Anyway, mm. now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. What did you do? You give me Iva back? Did you need a sink chair to give me Iba back? Iris. Iris, what happened to Boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play! Play. Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge. <laughs> I knew. I knew. Harbor Warehouse District. That's not Shovel Forge. <laughs> That's uh, Monica's body location. <laughs> hey, should I be here? Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? Yeah! Iris suggests we come to the warehouse. I thought it was odd, but we drove her here anyway. Thank you for today! It was a lot of fun! <laughs> Is the date finally over? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Why are we standing so far apart? Thank you. Not just for today, 
but for everything. Six years ago, you helped me and my mom, and I'm so grateful for that. This is that. a weird distance. We should be closer, no? Will you close your eyes for me, Uncle? You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, please. You're gonna stab Wait, me? You want me to close my eyes? Do you... And just do it, quick! I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh, man. Oh, no. No way. It's happening. Oh, no. Try to keep All my right. cool. Close my eyes and stabbed. Okay, open them. What? I opened my eyes and there before me was Iba. <sighs> you motherfucker. You, you, you can't walk around dressed like that. You'll catch a cold. It's flu season. Look at you. You look like a ghost. Your skin is already transparent. It's been a long time, Kaname Date. Ah, <sighs> at a time like this, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. You, you are, uh, that is, uh, uh who are you again? <laughs> yeah. You haven't changed. You're still an idiot. Well, you're the idiot, man. You idiot, I thought you died. I was worried about you. Pardon, but you were the one who issued the self-destruct order. So she remembers anyway, it then. I want to know something. The number, 41205. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Your favorite number? Is 41205? I see. Oh, Sorry, I hear everything Iva says over this earpiece. I think I understand the meaning behind her number. What does it mean? Iris, do not tell him. <laughs> Uncle, think of the alphabet. What's the fourth letter? Yeah. A, B, C, D. And the first? A. And the 20th? <laughs> I see. Yeah. And the zero? What's going on? Why are you here? Allow me to explain. I, or everything that constitutes my I, disappeared completely three months ago, including all of my backup data. However, fragments of my data were being secretly uploaded to cloud servers around the world for years. We, we scooped them up, guys. By downloading and decoding these fragments, I was able to regenerate my memories and consciousness. It was the Wadjet system that brought me back to life. That system is responsible for proliferating my data. Wadjet is like a mother to me, and she protected me as her child. And I am forever grateful to my mother. Never underestimate the power of Wadjet. Why are you here? To be exact, I am not here. You are seeing an augmented reality virtual projection of myself. My physical self. Is in my eye. In my left eye? Yes. How did you get in there? I see you have not become any more astute in my absence. Think carefully. Yeah. I got knocked down by boss. Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Yeah. At Abyss, when I lost consciousness. Yes. Computer embedded me in your eye socket. I knew the whole time. Boss told me about the plan to restore Iba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so... Is this my thank you? Yeah. But it's not over yet. Huh? What do you mean it's not over yet? Anyway. Anyway, um, Iba. Thank you. Welcome back. Glad to be back. I'm home. Welcome home. Well, now that Iba has risen from the dead, I think we should celebrate with a dance! Number. Oh boy. Hit it! Who hitting it? Who who hits it? Oh God. That's it, everybody. Well, guys, I think this is what we would consider to be 
the very, very end of the game. Oh wait, that's a, that's a dance that I was doing too. I'll leave it to the AI to instantly pick this up, huh? I will say the lyrics are terrible, Renju. Okay. I don't want to hide it. That's what I decided. Why do you sound like Kermit? I know I was wrong. I love you more. Oh my god. Everyone remember this dance? Can warm any heart. Resist your dreams of work, defending by all your will is on Randy. See through the There's too many people here, guys. There's too many people here. Revolt even with death, defending real or dream your space. This is a fever dream ending. Even Kagami, dude. And the bus driver? Or should the taxi driver? That's cute. <sighs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you to everybody who made this game possible because this was a banger of a game. Thank you to everybody who came out to watch us every single episode until the end of time. By the way, everyone, yeah? the reason you can see me right well, now is because I'm projecting oh my a special technology. Let's go. No more times. Great job, everyone. Spike Tune Soft. Limited all rights reserved. Localized by your mom. Thanks for playing. Your eyes have been opened. Oh, I can't wait to start the next game, guys. I can't wait to start the next game. Would you like to save? Oh. Yes. On... The last save file, AI the summon files, save number 10. To give us just enough number of save files to get every single ending saved. Dance has been unlocked in the title menu. Yes. Well, alright. <laughs> this has been a long one, huh guys? Two and a half hours. I felt it suited, like fitting, you know? For the 30th episode. A little bit of a celebration to get the, the big 30. And also the finale, the big grand finale episode. Well, everybody, that was AI the Somnium Files, the whole entire story, start to finish, every single ending. We managed to open our eyes and uncover the mysteries. 
Well, thank you everybody for joining me today. And joining me every single time for all the AI episodes. This has been Lazy Shen. And I'll see you guys in the next series, okay? Drink some water. Eat some butter. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Late.